ureteroscopy is a short surgical procedure involving passing a specialised instrument into the ureter. Uh, the ureter is a long muscular tube which drains urine from the kidney down to the bladder. The reason we do it is that normally um, the urine drains freely into the bladder, however sometimes kidney stones can come down and cause a, a blockage and that causes severe pain. The ureteroscopy allows us to get rid of the stone, usually fragmenting it with a laser and removing it with a small basket, allowing the urine to pass freely subsequently and resolution of the pain. You would need a ureteroscopy uh, for a number of conditions. First of all, if you have a stone uh, obstructing the ureter, uh, as I've discussed previously, uh, that causes severe pain and needs usually emergency treatment. However, sometimes um, people have kidney stones which sit there in the kidneys and which require removal. And in that situation, we use a, a flexible ureteroscope, which allows us to uh, look up into the kidney and find the stone manipulate it into a good position and then fragment it using a laser again and removing the fragments with the basket. Ureteroscopy is either required for an emergency condition to remove a stone from an obstructing ureter or to remove kidney stones that are causing pain or problems up in the kidney. There are a number of benefits of ureteroscopy uh, compared with other methods of uh, treating kidney stones. The main other method is uh, lithotripsy, which involves shock waves into the kidney stone to break it up into fragments. Ureteroscopy, however, allows us to see the stone directly and to ensure its removal. It also allows us to uh, collect uh, a specimen of the stone uh, and send it off to the laboratory, uh, which we can then analyse the stone uh, and be able to inform the patient of any particular uh, dietary modifications that they can perform to reduce the risk of further stone formation. Some stones up in the kidney can be very difficult to access and are not particularly amenable to lithotripsy, particularly the kidney stones in the lower pole uh, at the end of long, uh, thin um, tracts of the kidney. And uh, using a ureteroscopy again allows us to visualise the stone and allow its uh, complete removal um, uh, without any residual fragments, which a lithotripsy sometimes doesn't do. Well, during a, re a rigid ureteroscopy, which is for stones in the ureter, a guide wire will be passed uh, by passing an instrument through the uh, urinary tract up into the ureter, and then uh, a long, thin uh, instrument called a ureteroscope is passed through the urethra up into the ureter to the position of the stone. The stone is then fragmented using a very thin laser fibre with high energy laser uh, pulses onto the stone and the stone is either dusted uh, and the dust washed away or fragmented into several particles and the particles then subsequently removed with a basket. Uh, if the stone is up in the kidney then a uh, flexible ureteroscope is um, inserted into the kidney normally over uh, a guide wire. It's a quick and straightforward procedure and the whole thing takes about 20 minutes to half an hour. The um, flexible ureteroscope is uh, used to look around the kidney and to find uh, the relevant stones and to break them up and remove the bits uh, as fragments or again to dust them into tiny fragments which are then washed out leaving no remaining stones. Well the advantage of ureteroscopy is that it's a, a day case procedure normally so the patient's normally able to go home uh, straight after the operation. Uh, sometimes a ureteric stent is left to allow the urine to drain freely, which may need to be subsequently removed, uh, but generally we manage to do the procedure without leaving any further stents. There's normally a period of recovery of a few hours after the anaesthetic, but then generally the patient is able to go home uh, later on the same day um, and we'll follow up the patient in outpatients with the result of the stone analysis and usually with some imaging to prove that the stone has been removed completely.